Hello everyone. So in these videos, I want to talk about another new diffusions video editing model that is really easy to play around with. Very easy to reskin that source videos to other styles of videos that is called the flatten. Now, flatten stands for the optic flow guard attendant for consistent text to video editing. This is created by various parties, including Meta and universities of Hong Kong, as well as some other universities. And let's check out their videos now. Their demo 3 deals show that they have source videos and it can turn them into other styles of output results based on the source video's motions. It can turn it into, for instance, a Pixar animated cat, a wooden toy cat, or even turn it into a tiger. Basically, it is using the same shape of objects. And then it turns the resulting videos into other forms. Like this wolf, it turns into a husky, or a tiger, a pig, or even a metal wolf. Like that, basically using the same movement of these objects from the source videos and turning them into other forms. That is a really cool thing that allows you to manipulate your existing videos and turn them into other styles. And right here, let's talk about the overall framework of using Flatten. We have discussed that in our Discord groups and communities a lot in the last couple of weeks since this framework was officially released on GitHub and we have been playing around with it. And in these videos, I want to go through this and introduce more people to inspire them to use these really cool techniques. It's very similar to Rave. Previously, we talked about the Rave techniques that can turn things into consistent styles, but this one is better, I would say. The quality of the output display is more distinct from the source videos, whether you're just doing text prompts or even if you have image prompts, you can use that as well. It is very flexible as we can do as usual in Comfy UI. For example, like this one, the car racing on the road track, and actually it turns it into a car drifting on a snow road. It's a really cool thing. So the technical details, I will not go into too much detail about that. I will share this link for you to check it out if you're really into the technical side of this framework. But basically, the optic flow of this is going to be a game changer for our element videos using AI models to generate the results for us here. So here, we have this GitHub page of the Flatten, and it also explains everything the same as the research paper that we just saw. And then they have created the Comfy UI Flatten. Now, this one is still a work in progress. They uh, will update it regularly. There's some memory handling that needs to be optimized. When I test this custom notes, usually they are okay to generate very few image frames. But if I set it to 100 image frames in the Comfy UI, it will use up all of the memory. That means there's an overflow of memories. Even with 24 GB VRAM, it still can't handle a lot of image frames. So I believe there will be something to optimize for their memory handling in the coding part. I'm not sure because I haven't touched any coding of this part yet, but I believe they can do something to optimize their memory handling here and release some buffer for creating longer frames of videos. For example, their examples show the upscaled video results from them. Let's try this one. Let's try with their custom notes here. So how do you install that? Actually, they have explained it here. So we need to install or clone this project repository in the Comfy UI custom notes subfolder. You can use the Comfy UI manager to install it automatically. So there are no additional Python packages or dependencies required to install this. Just go to the Comfy UI manager or manually download the files here. You can download this using the GitHub command prompt, download that, I have installed this manually by installing the Comfy UI Flatten where I have, uh, let's go to the file explorer. So I have downloaded these files, the Comfy UI Flatten files that come from here. You can download the zip files. After that, extract the zip files and you will have the Flatten main folder, which is this one. As you can see, there are no requirements or executable files that you have to pre-install with this custom notes. All the modules and handling of this flattened technique are already included in this custom notes. And 
they have a sample example workflow that you can play around with. And I have played around with that as well to uh, create a simple workflow like this to reskin or restyle my videos to other styles of videos, just like that. Simple. So let's go to this workflow and play around with it. For flattens, actually, I have created groups here to make it easier to understand what each feature does. So in these groups, we have the conditioning groups. We have the text prompts, positive, negative, connecting to the advanced control net here. And like the rave technique, flattens also use the dev models, the control net models, to create each scene's layout of the source videos, like this one. But this time, since we have the Dev Infinity Control Net release, I'm going to use this one. So far, this is the best performance I have tested, so I'm going to use this one. And then the next step is to load the videos from the source videos that we're using. So here I have square aspect ratio videos that are stock videos of three kids playing in a playground, sitting there and hanging around. And then we have to load the checkpoint with the flattens models. So remember you have to use load checkpoint with flattens models. That will be here flatten. So flattens is really similar to rave. The structure of how it creates the workflow involves the unsampler. In this case, it specifically pertains to the unsampler of flatten. The first step is to connect the models indicated by the purple dot and proceed with positive unsampling. During the unsampling process, to proceed, a clip text encoding is sent based on the models, specifically the clip layers of the checkpoint models. This encoding is then connected to the unsampling conditions. The latent image in this case refers to the VAE encode of the loaded videos. After loading the videos, the dimensions of the width and height are upscaled or changed for the image. Then the image can be passed to the VAE encode. Following the encoding step, the unsampler is capable of generating the latent image. Additionally, the sample transactories trees must be implemented. These sample transactories are also connected with the dot mentioned earlier. Along with the video images, it's important to note that these video images refer to the images obtained from the upscaled video or other modifications such as resizing the width and height of the source videos. The context length and context overlap values come from the animated motions models. However, it's worth clarifying that these values are permissive and can be adjusted as desired. For now, it's recommended to keep them at the default settings of 20 for context length and context overlap, specifically for the flatten technique. Finally, the sampler for flatten is utilized featuring configurable special features such as the inject steps. It's possible to increase the number of steps, but keep in mind that more steps will require more time. Essentially, this is the workflow structure of Flatten. Moreover, an IP adapter can be employed, although it appears to be disabled in the current example. Enabling the IP adapter allows for typical adjustments in styles or effects from the source videos to the output videos. In the given example, there are source videos displayed side by side for comparison along with the corresponding output videos. Three small size videos featuring three kids are present in the source videos. No IP adapter was used for the results as the intention was to demonstrate the process without it. To generate the output, a simple text prompt was used, Gorilla near the river. This prompted the AI to generate a scene where the three kids are transformed into gorillas sitting near trees and a river.
The result depicted three gorillas near the trees, with the row transformed into a river. It's an enjoyable and creative way to manipulate video content using only text prompts. Furthermore, an IP adapter can be employed to introduce further changes. In this case, a lizard is used instead. The goal is to transform the girl near the swimming pool into an animal near the river in the Amazon. Initially, a previous attempt was made using a gorilla, but it didn't look good on the head. Instead, a giant lizard was chosen, which appeared more fitting. The result is amusing with the lizard near the river. To recap, the unsampler is connected to the upper sampling notes, while the lower connection is made with the LoRa models which serve as the output models in this context. These models are then connected to the case sampler of Flatten. Once everything is passed through, a result can be obtained. The result showcases the control net of the source videos, which in this case depicts a girl near a swimming pool wearing a bikini. Inspired by the appearance of a map, a lizard was added in a similar position, resulting in a comical outcome. This approach demonstrates an alternative method for video editing, employing AI and utilizing flatten as a technique to manipulate the output styles. So far, the results have been consistent with no deformities or issues in character movement, although the resolutions and frame rate were intentionally set low for demonstration purposes, it's possible to achieve higher quality with a more powerful GPU, including the ability to upscale the video results. That concludes the explanation of the process and results achieved using Flatten. Feel free to try it out and explore its potential. I hope you found this information helpful. Have a great day.